One of the things that I love about the Human Services Program at WCDC is that it allows students a great deal of flexibility in terms of what they're going to study while they're here at the college as well as what they're going to be doing moving forward. WCTC has definitely prepared me for the human services field, um, mainly because the curriculum is mostly hands-on and experiential. Um, being able to know and have experience in what an actual situation looks like and being faced with real life situations before you actually go into the field um, has definitely prepared me. WCTC has prepared me by participating in group discussions and presenting in front of the class and doing video conferences in the video skills lab. WCTC has taught me a lot of different skills that I use every day at work from case management and documentation so actually writing how to document everything day to day which is a huge part of my job. And we really do try to be understanding in terms of um, the different policies and approaches that we take um, and the different ways that we present classes. They get it. They get life. I got pregnant halfway through my schooling here and the instructors were just able to make everything work. My instructors helped me with modeling the behavior that is that I would be able to use in the field. So students are able to go down a couple of different paths here. There's a uh, sort of a more traditional mental health track, but then there's also an addiction studies track. And as they're uh, going along those paths, they're also able to get certificates either in youth care worker or in developmental disabilities. Um, so by the time they leave here with an associate's degree, they've gotten a great deal of specialization in whatever path they want to go down, or again, just going down a general track. So the types of clients that I'm working with are people who have mental diagnosis such as depression, you know, anxiety, um, schizophrenia, bipolar disorders, people like that. I work at my practicum site with domestic violence victims and their families um, and also human trafficking victims um, of all age ranges of all ethnicities and races. Uh, we typically have a uh, shelter and we have a crisis hotline that we use to help them as well as advocates that help them find resources in the community. Human services is in extremely high demand. Um, there are, I mean, quite literally hundreds of job openings that are out there just in southeast Wisconsin. Um, so employers are really looking for um, our students um, to be able to fill those positions. My practicum placement I was actually hired on halfway through the semester and my favorite thing about it is how excited the people that I work with are. They are genuinely happy to be receiving any services from us. So I'm graduating in spring of 2019 um, and I'm really excited to go forward and um, learn more at my practicum site because I was actually hired on. Um, so I'm excited to more so um, strengthen my skills the more I work there. And again, as students are able to continue on and complete their education and move higher on to a bachelor's and master's degree, they're able to fill those positions. Um, and whether it is that students are wanting to work with individuals who are struggling with homelessness or substance use disorders or kids with autism or adults with disabilities uh, or veterans, there are any number of populations out there that um, there's a great deal of need for. Because it had me take a look at something that I was struggling with and helped me with managing that behavior um, so then I could better help others. There, I guess there is no typical day. Um, you kind of, uh, you know, roll with the punches. I go home feeling good about myself and knowing that I chose the right profession.